Hello everyone, I'm Brian Jarstead with Hilltop Camper and RV. Today I'm here to talk to you about the StarCraft Superlight 212 FB. This is a couples type camper and it is easily half ton towable, coming in at 4,900 pounds and it's only 23 feet long. Up front we've got a three-fourths gel coat fiberglass front cap. You've got the diamond plate down here to protect from rocks, a power tongue jack up front for easy hitching and unhitching, a nice accent light, two 30 pound propane tanks. You've got solar on board prep. This is prep for a portable solar panel. You've got the magnetic door catches, which are really nice and a huge pass through storage compartment. They've really increased the height of that by raising the bed inside. They are prepped for backup camera and side view cameras. You can replace these little pieces here with side view cameras so that when you turn your turn signal on on your vehicle, it's gonna show you what's down the side of the trailer. You've got a very nice electric awning with the LED lights, outside speakers, of course. You've got the Dexter axles with the easy lube hubs and the never adjust brakes, aluminum rims, uh, this does also have the solid entry steps that swing up into the doorway. And then you get a spray port on the exterior here so that you can clean off the steps here. And there's also another spray port on the other side. It also has the thermal package weather shield. So it's got a heated and enclosed underbelly where they duck the heat down into that area. And then it's also gonna have the reflective foil in the floor of the slide out and in the roof. And that's gonna help you not only in the cold temperatures, but also keeping your air conditioning unit more efficient in the summer and hotter months as well. These are vacuum bonded fiberglass walls. And not only are they doing the sidewalls, a lot of other brands will skip vacuum bonding the rear wall or the slide out end walls, and they'll just put a hung fiberglass wall there. And if you can push on the back rear wall and it gives, or on the side of the slide outs, that is what they're doing. They're just hanging a piece of fiberglass there to save money. What that's gonna do in colder temperatures, hotter temperatures, when it contracts and expands, it's pulling at your corner seams and seals. So vacuum bonding technology is the best way to make a fiberglass sidewall. They're putting 144 tons of pressure on the walls when they vacuum bond them for 16 minutes uh, to make sure that the glues in between each layer are getting uh, spread and dried out evenly. Now these have aluminum studs in the walls, not wood studs, so there's no wood in this sidewall. You've got the backup camera, of course, prep here. Fully walkable roof, 4,500 pounds capacity. This is a PVC roof membrane. Most manufacturers are doing a rubber roof. This is PVC, which means less maintenance and less resistant, or more resistant to tearing from a branch or something like that. Um, this does have a quick connect back here if you want to hook up a grill outside or a stove or a blacktop griddle. You can do that and set it up out here on a table or on the ground. Um, you do have your outside shower port back here and um, black tank flush feature so that you can flush out your black tank when you're dumping your tanks to uh, avoid those false readings on your monitor panel. Uh, you got a full size spare tire here and then I think we'll head inside and take a look at some of the interior features. All right, inside we've got a lot of nice features to talk about. A lot of super light brand trailers or super light styles of RVs are going to skimp on ceiling height or fridge sizes and things like that to get them to a lighter weight. In this model, you can see it's an 81 inch ceiling height, so plenty of headroom. Um, over here, you've got an eight cubic foot gas electric fridge, opposed to most stuff in this range would be like a six cubic foot um, gas electric fridge. Uh, you got nice pantry space over here, well tucked in there to the corner. Uh, you've got a double bowl, or actually this is a large single bowl sink um, with the countertop covers, which is really nice to have. Um, extends your counter space, which this one obviously isn't lacking at all. You've got the Furion stove, and this folds back here to make a nice, nice backsplash. And it's nice and flush when that's down as well. Um, you've got your microwave, you've got a nice size television with the Furion soundbar, which is Bluetooth, 
and uh, HDMI compatible. Over here, you got the digital thermostat for your furnace and air conditioning to make it really easy to dial in exactly what temperature you want it set at and just leave it. Uh, this air conditioner is actually a 15,000 BTU air conditioner standard. Um, and they don't just have a central unit that blows around. They actually took the time, even in a shorter unit, to duct the air conditioning system. Um, you've got the sofa here, which makes into a huge bed. That's a trifold high to bed section there. And then this chase lounge area is pretty slick. It's got storage up underneath here with a gas strut. And there's a nice two foot by four foot table that'll sit out front here for your dinette area when you wanna eat. You do have windows that open on the slide out end walls and a nice big window there so that you can get a nice cross breeze and lots of natural light coming inside of the trailer. These do have now the roller MCD shades, which people love over the fabric day shades. Uh, we'll head into the bathroom here and take a look around at some of the bathroom features. The bathroom's got a nice bank of storage behind the toilet here with cabinetry. You've also got a vanity above the sink and a nice neo angle rounded shower. You've got skylight, a roof vent with fan, and this is a foot flush porcelain toilet. They didn't go to plastic like most brands will do. Over in the master bedroom area here, we've got some unique things here. You've got a laundry chute that goes down into your front storage compartment so you can just keep the laundry bin down there. Open this up, throw the dirty clothes down there and close that back up. You've got ample storage on both sides, hanging space here, actual doors, not just a shelf up here. And what I really like about this um, storage underneath the bed here is on this side, you've got drawers that come out and they've cut this area out so you can store tubs under here. And then you've got shelving over here so that uh, it's just a little bit different uh, set up for you to organize clothes and whatnot underneath there. You've also got plug-ins on both sides of the bed and there's USB outlets as well and small drawers on each side too. Thanks for watching our video and make sure you stop into one of our four locations to check out the StarCraft Superlight 212 FB.